I haven't played Loop Hero for eight months. Ah, uh, and the game is like exactly, exactly my current level of energy, so. My plus seven charisma, it was only plus five. It was only plus five. We'll turn the jams down slightly. Whoa. Capture? I didn't know you could change your hero color. Cursor type. Highlight the hero on the map. Game. Speedrun mode? I'm gonna run to the bathroom, we'll be right back. Do I do that? I think I do that, right? Do I take Oblivion for the first one? I'm pretty sure I don't. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven clockwise. I don't hate it. I like orange more. Some of you may never have seen Lupira before. What a pity.
was kind of a long walk to get to the second slime, which is not great. Spoilers. Here, yes. It's a new save file. Yes, the way I play Loop Hero is I try to win in four expeditions. There are four bosses. I try to kill all of them. In four runs. It is largely RNG, but there's some skill expression on there. That's a good time. It'd be real cool to find a spawner of some sort. So far I have one. This battle build is kind of a spawner. Okay. Maybe. Maybe there's a bit of something here. Holding mountains. Well, I don't want to spawn the boss too quickly. And they're my least valuable tile. So that's mostly it. I think we might have to reset this one. This doesn't look like it's winning. Okay. Interesting. How long is this fight going to take? Or here? I place it here. I don't like this cursor either. It's all just worse. Alright, better. I don't know. Am I gonna get another vampire mansion? If I get another vampire mansion, maybe I can actually play this. Back off, human. It's a me, the vampire man. There's a one in three that the spider spawner spawns to the north. Uh, I killed it way too fast. <laughs> Unlucky. Unlucky. Alright, well, too bad. You want me to move my camera so the equipment is not covered. Where is the camera meant to go on the skin? Here. That lock stuff down. Here. Where do you put your camera on this cam? The interface is so well used. There's nowhere for a camera, really. I'm considering just resetting. Let's keep playing and just die, and then we can, you know, demonstrate why I needed to reset, I guess. Oh, this isn't that bad. It's only loot, too. I got one vampire mention. I did get a treasury. Maybe this is a good item of some sort. I should have my camera track my guy on the map. Okay. That is that is a decent ring. Uh, the problem is that um, the enemy is increase in strength for every loop you do. So you want to get very strong in very few loops, which means you want to be fighting lots of enemies on every tile that you pass, basically. And I can't really do that because I didn't get spawners in my first loop. But I did find a second vampire match on huh? oh. So you're telling me there's a chance. I will probably have to actually equip something to be it a loot to vampire. 
I would rather not equip the Sturk, because I still want to be pretty slow. Oh yeah, that's stealing me a lot of damage. Ten? It's not that much damage. I don't even have a level one weapon yet. Wild. Ah, I'm actually beating it okay. I will eventually have to. Oh? Okay, okay. Has some attack speed on it, but also has some regen. So I don't want to improve my aggressive stats because enemies spawn over time. And I want to spawn lots of enemies, and time passes and fights. So I want the fights to last as long as possible. The Rasha Man. Unfortunately, I am going to die. Which is going to make it harder to win. Green Meadows. It's quite a lot of health. Also, I missed spawners for the other side of the vampire lair, lair unfortunately. <laughs> Brother the Loops. Come on, I got this now. Otherwise, I'm just kind of going to die, I think. Played this game with zero strats, only vibes. I think that is a very reasonable way to play it. Evade, 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 evade. Treasuries we want to make like a 2 by 3 of an open. Oh god. Yeah, I'm kind of fine though. Good shield. Uh, I think this coming loop is the one where I find out that I'm not very strong yet. I'm doing this to get more of a heal when I go through here, because my heal is percentage of max HP. Got a rock? Thank you. That's some good stuff. I placed this in the wrong position. Oops. Oh. The ring is obscene. This is loop three. We're gonna get through loop three relatively quickly off this ring, and then we're going to try to kill at the end of loop four. 
That is current strap. Yeah, 7% vamp should be better than regen. Is that bull? Need some more vampire mansions? Stop. Hmm. Kind of a large weapon. Okay, up that. Probably. I do have vampirism, so dealing more damage seems good. We get to a point where we are healing as we go through the game. Wait, is this stuff better or not? I lose 5 damage to all 2 defense, but I gain 1.2 regen per second. Well, that one's worse. I lose 4 damage to all and 7% vamp, but I gain 7 defense. This one might be better, actually. I think I could stand to be a little bit slower, too. Honors. Just one stuff there. For next loop, I think. Spawn stuff over here. Battlefield goes. I don't love battlefielding the goblins. Maybe I'll be okay. I might actually just like die because <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Okay. So yeah, we probably want this next loop to be the last one, or else that goblin camp's gonna kill me. The goblin camp plus skeleton spawn. This is going to spawn before I get there, but maybe it will. I don't know. We do have big fights to do. Also, maybe I'm just done before I reach that point anyway. It looks okay. It looks like I'm not taking damage in this fight. It looks like I'm healing overall in this fight. Okay. Yeah, looks alright. Are we winning? I don't think so. But it's going better than I thought it would after loop one. So I don't know, maybe we actually are. It kinda depends what these skeletons give me. That one gave me a rock. not really what I was hoping for. Okay, what is this? Pure damage 7. I mean... Uh, uh, okay. I 
Not exactly what I was hoping for. Maybe these skeletons will give me something. The next uh, cemetery hasn't even spawned anything yet. Hey, Shrew. I hope you get some sleep at some point. Uh huh. Ten percent vamp. That's very real. I just barely missed that skeleton. Whoops. I wonder if I can get strong enough to survive next loop. I might need to. Because, like... It's not enough to just win. I have to also get enough resources to win the next fight. And then also the next one, and then also the next one. So it isn't just winning, it's also scaling enough off the win. Putting vampires in these goblins feels like it will kill me. Let's put it there. Fight. Magical shield. That's evasion. Eh. I'm actually getting through this pretty quickly. Maybe I could do one more loop. If I really rush through it, maybe I can. Oh, is this shield good? Okay, I have a lot of them. Uh, goblins get angrier when you kill one of them, or something like that, so you don't want to fight four of them at the same time. That's pretty bad for you. You can feel the cognitive decline? Holy shit, yeah. I can only imagine. I am a big fan of sleeping. Like, like a big fan of sleeping. One of my preferred activities in life. The other thing is, like, say I want to beat the boss at the end of this, I need a sword that can actually beat the boss. I can get to the end of the loop at high health, I think with this much vampirism? Maybe. Maybe not, though. My health is kind of... steady-ish. It's not really going up. I think sleep is just objectively one of the best things. Believable. I'll put this here. We need to surround the campfire, because that's where the boss is going to spawn, and the boss will spawn with little structures that make it stronger next to it. But if we have already built something there, it can't get those. Seven damage to all and regen. I wish it was seven damage to all and vamp, but I think I take that. Niablus. Yeah, all the vampire mansions. That's a sword that could kill the boss, maybe. Okay, this might be real. Have vampires in like every tile that's left. Let's put a cemetery there. So I need to get to 10 stone and 10 wood. I sure don't have that. We open treasuries though, and those help a lot. I think my health is going up in this fight. Yeah, if my health is going up in that fight, we're in a pretty good place. Uh, vamp 
is better than regen at this point. There's some uh, inflection point where regen stops being better than vamp when I think we passed it. That could be a thing. I think I want this if I want to do two more loops. Or like the end of this loop plus the next one. That's what I should say. To survive loop 5 with no meta progression, my experience has been that I need a lot of damage to all and vamp. So I'm losing some vamp, but I'm getting damage to all and a lot more damage overall. You can do pretty well in loop 4 with a bunch of regen, I think, but it kind of isn't enough for loop 5. It's very hard to have enough for loop 5, though. You just usually don't have enough for loop 5. That's just how it works. But at the moment, this is still going okay. One, two, th three spawners. Ah, spawners like on the side of the road. Grove isn't good. Hey, Vixie, hey, extrapolation. Extrapo extrapolation. Man. Wait, why did I start taking a billion damage? Really going so well. And then all of my health went away. Are the dogs that bad? Is it the dogs? I don't know. So, I think just like mathematically, this doesn't work. So, I can't put vampires on that. I'm gonna have to do another loop, which also I don't think can ever work, but I, I just don't think either option works ever. We'll see. Hey, multi D20! Five cuts. Level five shield each other. Definitely, if I survive another loop, I am very, very rich. Alright, so I've walked past that, so I'm not gonna get caught in the fight when the boss spawns. I forgot to put down my- ah, oh, I had to put Vampire Mansions first. music now. This. Okay, nice to get the battlefield before before I passed go. Oh well. Okay. Mm, 
Not sure, but I think worse. Did I just get... How much stuff just spawned? <laughs> um... I felt like I was walking into one... skeleton, and then there were four enemies in the fight. But I didn't die. Vamp 12? It is not exactly what I was thinking of. Is better. I don't need this anymore. I don't need this anymore. Damage all pure damage. No defense. No, it's not better. Uh, this could be it. Well, it does not have Vampirism on it. So I don't have Vampirism anymore. But uh, it does have a lot of defense. Defense 24. I don't get hit very hard. Hey, oh, it's a mimic. Come on. And I missed. I don't take much damage, but I don't have much sustain anymore, unfortunately. I think my health is just gonna bleed out. Wait, could I? Is this ever good? Maybe it is. Let's try it. Okay, failed to kill that skeleton in two hits because I soft armor. I've just lost all of my damage. And put on regen instead. Which I believe will result in me just being dead. Do you ever feel like your internal clock isn't 24 hours? You feel like you step around 20 hours and sleep 8 and you're good most of the time. Not very practical though. Uh, I feel like that's a thing. I feel like that's a thing people get. Absolutely. A lot of pure damage. Save that for the boss fight. Optimistic to be thinking about what we'll do in the boss fight. I don't know. Did I heal there? I might have healed there. Pure damage, damage to all, defense, attack speed. I think somehow this is bad. Wait. I think after I have 12. It's good. Is that much damage better than 1.8 regen when I have... Yes, I think so. Okay. This fight, which I said would kill me when I placed it... Now we're cruising! We're cruising! We're all dead! I think this shield is doing a lot of work. I think having that much defense is kind of good. So, skeletons hit you really hard, but they are also... the best loot droppers of the game. They drop you really good items. So that's why I've put all the skeleton spawners at the start of the loop, because the items that spawn are based on which loop you're on. And skeletons can spawn items that are from levels ahead of the loop. 
so that's what I'm hoping for, is for the skeleton to drop a really sweet level 6 sword here on number 5. And if that happens, I should be in pretty good shape. Uh, but I just got through all my skeletons and they didn't, so, you know, that's unfortunate. I'm healing. Am I healing? I can't tell. I'm at 400. I feel like I used to be at 280. I do heal at the end of the day. From all of these meadows. Meadows heal me. The end of the day was like half a day ago. This might be real. I probably need to get to like 800 health to beat the boss. Or I could take an evasion ring and just evade every time. Oh my god, 18% evasion? Is this real? Just roll the 18% five times in a row. Meadows. At the moment, I'm getting 126 HP per day. I healed 13 on that fight. Plus, I cast some time to ward my end of day heal. Still holding out hope that I get to open two more treasuries in this. Okay, it's another treasure. Meadows have to be placed next to another structure that isn't a meadow to give you plus three instead of plus two. So that's why I'm placing my meadows where I am. Walking slower would be beneficial in this game. Oh yeah. If you could just not move for like five hours at the start of loop one, you would get to win every time. Why am I not finishing the treasury links? I wouldn't be able to place down more treasuries. I would have stuff in the way. Can't place treasuries next to you. Piles which are already placed. went from one spider to three enemies, plus a vampire, obviously. I was over 500 health per bit there. Seven HP per day. Still feels like not enough. There's treasury number six. Nice. Is that any good? No.
Aww. Nothing good, is it? Damage to all important. I don't know. I was more more worried about losing the defense. I think. Uh... I don't think it's better. Damage isn't blocked by armor. This fight beat me up. Just a pretty hard fight. Spawned too many enemies here at the end of the loop. Also, I may have equipped an item that was worse than what I had before. Not what I heal for a lot when I attack things. Some defense and vampirism. Lost me 40 health for now, though. Give me this thing. There are some small things I could do in here to get like one more HP, which I'm not doing. Hopefully, it's okay. That's my boss fight ring, I think. Well, you can reorder stuff? I didn't know that. Wow. Okay. Should I code something to sim this? I don't want to code something that sims the hero fights. That would be a thing to do. For uh, the next 40 hours or something. Ah, it probably wouldn't take 40 hours. <sighs> I think I get a heal for 10% max HP when I cross into the boss fight, but I'm not sure. I might be wrong. I would definitely need one to win the boss fight. Doesn't feel very winnable. Cost me 50 health. There's a skeleton in this fight? Why is there a skeleton in this fight? Maybe it'll drop me a sweet item, actually. Also, that really wasn't that bad. 
How do I not have a better shield? Well, I don't care about vamp anymore. This is my best weapon? I guess so. I don't have better armor. I don't have a better shield. Do I heal? What am I at? 595. I actually don't heal. Brutal. I think I'm 200 health short. I think I'm more than 200 health short. Okay, never mind. Uh, no. 200. 200 health short. Close. I think maybe if I had put vampire mentions around the start, I would have won there. You really just keep talking about you. Yeah? Alright, try again. So end of loop 5 didn't feel as hard as I thought it was. Maybe my gear was really good. I don't know. Maybe I should be aiming for end of loop 5 more often though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Not enough. I didn't skip tutorial. Disaster. <laughs> That's so goofy. <laughs> That's one of the weirdest interfaces I've ever seen. It was very fun though. One, two, three, four, five, six Wittershins. Not good enough. Yeah, the goal is to win at the end of loop 4. I don't like change. I definitely don't want to do loop 6. Loop 6 is just gonna be, like, die. GG. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Why is there a ventilation fan next to Korea? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. You want mini jorbs? Mini jorbs to move cam a little to the right. Two, three, four, five, six. Maybe if this slime gives me something. Mm, okay, we'll play it. Someone should make a mod to skip all this stuff. No, this is a very necessary part of uh, trying to get deathless wins and stuff, resetting repeatedly. Very necessary part of speedrunning too. It's a gamer tradition. I walked a very long way before I got to my second slime, so you know, probably we lose. But if this drops a vampire mansion, maybe I win. Vampire mansion here would be pretty good. Not a vampire mansion. What about this one? Maybe this one gives a vampire mansion. No. Ah, I give up. This game has this very weird thing with the variants. So when you build this deck, like each of these things you click is some number of cards. It doesn't say what they are, but I think there are like four vampire mentions maybe. Or maybe there are two or three. I don't know. Uh, and there are like 12 rocks and 8 mountains and 12 meadows or something and 2 treasuries. I don't know. I don't know the exact numbers, but it's something like that. And then it shuffles the deck up for you, and then you start drawing cards from the deck, right? Seems straightforward. Seems like it makes sense. Um, no. 
it isn't straightforward and it doesn't make sense because the game also just discards 10% of the deck or something after it shuffles it. So it is possible that I just won't get any Vampire Mansions the entire T of the first deck cycle. Uh, which is kind of wild. Why? I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't know why. You don't even know it had a deck mechanic? Yeah, it's not particularly clearly explained or anything. I guess it's so runs feel different? Maybe? Start's good. I don't know if the start is good. It depends. It's not lost yet. Could really use a vampire mansion. Thing where it's so complex it can scare off players while not actually mattering for 95% plus of the player base. Maybe, I don't know. I feel somewhat strongly that there are ways you can communicate that that won't scare off players. In fact, I think you can communicate it in ways that are just, like, visibly cool. It is possible that if players realized it, they would be irritated because it introduces a bunch of unnecessary variants into the game. And I think the answer to stopping that from happening is to not do it. <laughs> My gear is really good. You want gear that doesn't increase your kill speed, but does make it so you take less damage in loop one, and I got like basically the perfect gear for that. Kind of hard to have a better roll for that than this. speed important. I want to give the enemies time to spawn. I don't think I would have had this fight, for example. Or I would have, actually. Is there also a gear deck? Oh, I don't know how. Actually, I do know how that works. No, it's just that monsters have percent chance of dropping loot, and then there's like a loot table. It works the same as like an ARPG or something. sweet looking ring. It's kind of wild that these are both level 1 rings. Hey Ward Square! How are you? over that it pauses. Never mind. I won't show you anymore. <laughs> Unlucky. Oh yeah, I might just walk the entire way through loop two without uh ever fighting anything. That's kind of how it looks to me right now. I have no monsters spawned whatsoever. We're about to take over to the next day though. And my fights will take a long time because I still haven't equipped a weapon. And in loop 2, enemies have more health. So hopefully we get some good drops. Hopefully it takes like three days to kill this chest. Unlucky. Oh no, I attack too fast. Stop! Stop attacking! I 
kind of a decent shield. with the spider animation. What's weird about it? It just looks normal to me. I played a lot of this game. I think if I met a spider in real life and it didn't look like one of the Lupero spiders, I'd be like, what is that weird thing? Uh, getting a vampire mansion there is really good. Very, very good. I might have to equip an actual item here. I don't know how much damage I'm willing to take. Is this... This is worth cutting on. I'm willing to take, like... A, a lot. I'm actually willing to take a lot of damage here, I guess. Good night, Gyarados. I don't know if I was willing to take 100 damage, which is what I just took. Um... But I sure did take it. Ooh, the ghost dropped another vampire mansion. Okay. Okay. I'm picking up with your fucking pup 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 Whatever. You know the saying. Uh. <laughs> Stacking mansion zones do anything? No, it does not. Two defunts. Hmm. Defense is pretty good. I'm getting so many ghosts. This is awesome. Look at all those meadows I just got. Damn. Alright, this is a multi enemy fight with a vampire in it. I'm gonna equip a real weapon now. Honestly, probably better. I'll put my treasuries over here. Should I make a mountain? Spawn some harpies. Eh, oh yeah. This weapon might be too real. I think it's okay. I think I actually want to be killing stuff kind of quickly here. I might be wrong. This is very quickly. I might be wrong. Problem is, I don't have any skeletons next to me. Alright, that's a decent place for the goblins, I feel like. Is it though? Maybe it's not. Uh, it deals even more damage. It has a regen on it though. But I lost like five defense. Is that better? I think at this stage in the game it is. Just 
someday I'll remember how I like to actually tie all the rocks in the meadows in the corner. Is that even better? I don't think so. Spiders. Let's get this road corner covered. I don't know if this day spawns a skeleton or not. It would be nice if it did. So I only got one uh, skeleton. Feels vaguely like the wrong number of skeletons to get. <sighs> also, I probably should have put this on before I got my percentage heal. Maybe it doesn't matter, actually. Does that matter? Might not matter. I got a very good weapon out of that one skeleton. Hmm. Is only loop three? Whoa. This is a win, right? Unless my gear is awful, I just win at the end of loop four. Okay, right. right. good start. Going 1118. Ooh. Definitely an upgraded shield. Conceptually, wouldn't mind having a ring. lay down here. Like, placing stuff is weird because you want it to be as soon as possible, but you also want it to be somewhere good. How do you learn to play this game properly? I just played it a lot. And fought hard. I have a spreadsheet somewhere. Anybody have my loop hero spreadsheet link? Maybe it's a bot command. I don't know. To be fair, this isn't the proper way to play the game. Yeah, it depends what you think the word proper means, I suppose. Is that a real ring? It's worse than what I already have, I think. Vampire Mansion, okay. Okay. I would love more ghosts. No more ghosts. Vampire. Oh, another ghost? Another Vampire Mansion? Another treasury? We're generating some cards. We are generating some cards. Proper to play with your pinky out. 
didn't last round lose because I put too many mentions. No, I lost because I didn't place mentions. I didn't place mentions to block the boss spawning uh, buffs for itself. You have to surround your campfire before the boss spawns in this um, this level. Or else the boss spawns with extra stuff. And I think uh, it was pretty close in the end, so... That was quite likely the difference between winning and losing. The proper way to play any game is the one that is fun for you. Except for World of Warcraft, where it's rude to be bad. I watched a video essay on that once. So many meadows. So I'm like an entire loop ahead of where I was last time. Okay. I need to surround this in spawners and then I'm like already ready to spawn the boss pretty much. And I just have to hope that the skeletons give me enough loot to get through next loop without dying, because this gear is good for right now, but it won't quite handle next loop without help. One more skeleton? Sure. You like when the little mountains become the big mountain. This better? No. This better? No. Not enough little mountains becoming big mountains in this game. Maybe you're just not playing well enough. Maybe that's on you. do it once per expedition. Maybe you're not losing your expeditions fast enough. Or winning them fast enough? Can you do that? Can you win? Is this better? It has 15 defense. I don't know how good 7 defense is. It doesn't feel like it's better right now. I'm not getting hit for that much. It might be better next. Um, oop, I don't know. Might be better against the goblins, actually. I think defense is pretty good against goblins. One, two, three, four. Four more spaces to put things. Ooh, another goblin arrived in this fight. At least there's no vampire here. When, oh. Uh, when people ask me why I'm not placing mountains, the reason is usually that I don't want to create more goblins. That's a very good sword. I think that might win me the game. Thirty-four percent vamp. One more spawner. Wait. Right. Wait. What if I went at the end of this loop? I 
I think I could definitely kill the boss right now. But I think if I went for it, I would not have enough resources to build the stuff I need to build. Does it give us have an insta-kill? Uh, not an expedition one. Enemies don't have their abilities yet. Basically, in every expedition, they get another ability. And I forget exactly which ability that one is, but it's not present in Expedition 1 for that ghost. Alright, I can't place anything else until I'm through the campfire. Not even that treasury. It's okay though, I'm through the campfire. Oh yeah. It's a lot of rocks. I don't let it spawn things! Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. Uh, I'm at max HP, so maybe... Reasonable to place all of these rocks to improve my max HP. Because it would be bad to get healing, but be at max HP so I couldn't actually benefit from it. Yeah, very ambitious to think that I was going to heal in this fight. <laughs> okay. The boss music in this game is perhaps the best part of this game. I'm not placing the rocks around the treasure. I can't open. I guess I could open that one. I had to open any of these three before I place this one, though. That is pretty good. Might turn that on later. I don't think the damage to all is super great fighting skeletons, but it's pretty good in the later fights of this loop. Uh, that's also pretty good, I assume. It's actually... wow. Crossing? It's actually worse, this fight being a higher level. It has 4% attack speed on it. But yeah, I think it's just worse. Six of defense. No, I can't lose the vamp. Can I check the new armor? This stuff? Um, this stuff? I might not have. You think the mace is worse than this as a boss weapon? I don't think so. Damage to all hits everything, right? That's what it means. Speaking very slowly, because for some reason I don't feel confident, but I, I'm pretty sure that damage to all deals another 7 damage per attack to the boss, which seems kind of good. Mm, lose 1% evasion and 1% vampirism for 0.6 regen per second. Probably. I think so. There's more max HP on it to you. Ghost from. Bye, 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 bye. 
imagine an internet radio station that was just the Lutro boss music on repeat, and it actually didn't have anything else. Strictly better than all other music. I feel like I just win. I, I am not sure that there is a decision left, actually. Put the stuff down and win. Health is going up, so no reason to change my equipment. How many times have people told... Have I told people I don't equip weapon upgrades if I was trained? Actually, nobody's asked that, I don't think. I did explain it right at the start, though. So that might have... Uh... In why people didn't ask, I don't know. It's very important to me that I put meadows on here. Because it looks pretty. Oh, I don't know, Marad. I think I've just been playing wrong the entire time, probably. Wild that I don't even have, like, a decent chunk of my gear is level 3 still. Yeah? Just murdering everything. it once or twice like when you asked about one one of the kill speed guns. I am very used to that being the most common question when I play this game. I have streamed a bit of this game before. Feels like probably just don't mess with what's working, yeah? You know? Oh my god, the evades. Isn't the proper way to play the game? You get so many road lamps that no enemies spawn and just loop around forever. I don't think so? Maybe I'm playing wrong. Uh, that's a lot more vamp. Let's do it. It's Karados and Peter's birthday today. Should we have a birthday party? Happy birthday to you! Hold on, Twitch chat, you have to sing too. I always sing happy birthday. For Karados and Nuclear, but you have to type happy birthday in chat as well while I do it. This will be uh, the most wholesome thing I have ever done. Here we go. In time with Loop Hero. Now it's too fast. Now I'm thinking about the Loop Hero music. Hold on. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carados and Nuclear.
Happy birthday to you. Phil's birthday. I thought about baking myself in a cake, but I ran out of time. People just mean equipping the weapons that are better than the weapons that I had. Like at the start of the game, I usually don't equip anything, which is pretty confusing to people who assume that you would want to make yourself stronger at the start of the game. But it turns out that you don't really want to make yourself stronger at the start of the game. You want to go as slowly as possible so enemies have time to spawn, because the enemies spawning is what makes you stronger. I used to have more health than I do now. Do you think, like, that ring that I took off was really important for some reason? I think I just got to the part of the loop where I'm fighting difficult enemies, probably. I also think it's fine. Also, I'm thinking about equipping this. Yeah, I think so. I think it's time. that ones. Oh, also probably my health is... Oh my god, that gargoyle got here? Wow, okay. Extra gargoyle in this fight. Also, my health is staying about the same, actually. It's just that I'm gaining a lot of max HP, so it looks like my health is going down because it's less as a proportion of my total health or whatever. This too. Uh... Do you want to know if enemy strength is based on current loop or the loop strength when they spawn? Current. expand on Luke Hero? How could you make Luke Hero even better than Albert is? Resources. Stone is capped, metal is capped, wood is almost capped. Orb of expansion is almost capped. I do not have capped food. I'm gonna hold on to this rock. I might need it to open a treasury. I maybe find one more treasury. Thought that was it. It's critical to have resources capped. Some of them you really need to max out, others are not. I mean, it helps, but it isn't 100% necessary for some. Spawn a spider somewhere before the run ends? No. I don't really want to look at this. It's too much work. We already won. We capped wood? We did. Still haven't capped food though. And we capped Orb of Expansion, which is also pretty good.
Wait, could I do another loop? Maybe I could do another loop. Let's see what it drops. Everyone is wishing everyone a happy birthday, even people whose birthday it isn't. Hmm. I'll have to contact the police. I have a thousand health. I didn't quite get to full food. Oh well. Stay! I know I have like gear for this fight. I don't think I care. Like, I think we just hit it. it just dies, right? It's so weird. Thank you, new fear wasted. It is actually kind of close to my birthday. It does way more damage than me. Not untrue. Not entirely untrue. My reward! I got a wood, a stone, a metal, three food, and two books. I don't know what this is yet. I can stay and then um, quit afterwards if I want. I mean, we just stay. I mean, we just stay. We just kill them all. Easy. I can get more metamorphosis by playing more meadows. It's kind of the only thing I can get, but I can get more of it. It's gonna be really funny when I just die. I'll probably just die, but then I can go to bed, whatever. <laughs> here is just to play as many blooming meadows as I possibly can because every single one I make gets me a little bit closer toward another metamorphosis. I would also like to not die. Which I am hoping is possible. I think it's possible. I think it's doable. We'll see. This should be the part of the loop where I take the most damage. Is it worse or better? I think worse. I am taking a lot of damage though. They keep on evading. Fewer damage, damage to all. Regen per sec. So, I'm gonna need those meadows to proc pretty soon. <laughs> Good. Oh my god, this is just four. Hmm. Minus a hundred. Come on, give me a real item. Is this a real item? Yeah. I really thought I was like as strong or stronger than I was the last time I stayed. And the last time I stayed, I managed to. Uh, equalize. 
So, I'm a bit confused. Am I weaker than I was last time? Is my ring bad? Maybe my ring is bad. Or maybe the enemies are just a lot worse than they were last time. No, my ring has five vamp on it. My ring is not bad. I'm confused. And the skeleton beatdown is over. No more skeletons. Maybe it's just that it was lots of skeletons. Like, I think I healed in that fight. But, I mean, that was also a fight with only two enemies, so I would assume that I would, I guess. Uh, in this fight, I am... I think I'm HP neutral in that fight. Okay, right, so, yeah. If I'm HP neutral in that fight, it should be fine. Maybe it was just that the skeletons are very hard hitters. I don't know what happened to all the meadows. I seem to have stopped drawing them. Hey, running thoughts. Use a treasury as well. Treasury also makes metamorphosis when it transforms. I don't think so. Oh yeah, I'm murdering them. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's just skeletons are hard, that's all. Space for a treasury to get placed. Where did they met go? I get it. I acknowledge your joke. Disgruntledly. There's a meadow, but it's medgo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what it was. These little paper things that I'm getting don't do anything. But you do generate them by having a max hand size when you generate any tile to place. Yeah, they unlock lore for you, which I don't care about. Honestly, I don't know if I've ever read all of the lore for this game. I certainly don't intend to tonight. That might be better, but let's not mess with what's working. What I have is just kind of deterministically enough, so... It's interesting lore and good creepy pasta worthy stuff. We just make up the lore. Yeah, I think that sounds great. What do you think the lore is? Sometimes I bring Oblivion to this level so that I can use Oblivion on the mountaintop. 
because that ends up being the best way to make more of this resource, Metamorphosis. The thing is, you don't need tons of Metamorphosis anyway. It is not actually necessary to max that. It helps you out a little bit in the fourth expedition. But I think that if I reach the fourth expedition, I should usually win it. I think the hard stuff is expedition one and two for this challenge. Which is not to say that like I can't lose if I reach the final expedition, because I definitely can lose. Just um I like my odds if I get there. I guess is what I'm saying. I can make clotted earth here. Which also makes metamorphosis. So if I get more battlegrounds, I can make more metamorphosis. You do need to max metamorphosis because it makes the number up, number go up, which feels good. That's a good point. I guess. Maybe you are right. Use Necro for the later expeditions. Yes. You use Warrior for the first two because you don't have Necro unlocked yet, and then you use Necro because you do have Necro unlocked. Which is also why the later expeditions are easier. Yeah? This game is not entirely like balanced or whatever you would say. to explain why the harpies look so hot. Because it's the 21st century. Self-explanatory, I think. The goblins are hotter. True. Not untrue. I did all of that and I got one more metamorphosis. Worth. No mimics, expedition one. Uh, there are mimics, yeah. Not super common though. You thought I already won on the four expeditions. I did. Now I'm doing it again. Well, now I'm trying to do it again. Do you think I win group six as well? You get more metamorphosis. I don't actually know how much more we've got. It looks like the map's pretty full. Time to leave. Do I click this button? Return to the camp. Treat. You will keep all of your resources. All right. Uh, what do I do? I build. I don't remember. <laughs> Build one of the two. The field kitchen is cheaper. I, I probably want both. I can probably build both. 
You're all in toward the best class, which is Thief. Seems... unlikely. I just need six more stone. Oh wait, you have to do the crypt as well, I forgot. Uh, can I do this? Or did I, like, not get enough? I'm gonna do it. I die because I built wrong. I die because I built wrong. I think it's okay. So with the gymnasium, now I get special treats for killing enough enemies during an expedition. It's like the entire thing. Oh my god. That is very expensive. Expedition 2! I have to kill this thing. Is this a thing with mirrors? It is, right? So I need, like, higher attack speed or damage to all. All right. And then I can add chrono crystals, which I don't hate. I can add villages, which I think are very important. And I can add oblivion if I'd like. I think maybe I need oblivion, actually, because of something, but I don't remember what. Maybe the Oblivion is the Necromancer to kill the Thorns villages, I think. After I get forests. Whatever, we'll do this. Hopefully we don't die. Um, hopefully we don't die. It's kind of... The main way to die here is to not get any spawners on the first loop. It's not a great first loop. But, like, Expedition 2 isn't as hard as Expedition 1. There are plenty of ways to win it without a great start. So. But it's definitely not a great first loop. I have walked halfway through it without finding a single thing. I still have the spreadsheet with notes from past orbs. I do! I'm not reading it, though. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Uh... What did Sarah ever do to me? Uh, didn't spawn any spawners. I'll tell you that much. Should've taken treasure out of the deck. Okay, that was good slime spawns at least. Take a little while to win this fight. Got a village. I need a vampire mansion. Vampire mansion we win. Oh, it's not the village. Yeah. Okay, so I think I wait until I get a Vampire Mansion. This is like Vampire Mansion equals when no Vampire Mansion equals. Sad. So much stuff. So much stuff that wasn't a Vampire Mansion. Just ask someone to spawn on the second expedition. You can, actually. Like, if that's what both of you are there for, there's no harm in just, you know, being open about that. The thing here is that Vampire Mansion has an interaction with Village. Oh, I see. Okay. I forgot about Bandit Camps entirely. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> Vampire Mansion has an interaction with Village. 
or if you place them with the Vampire Mansion orthogonally touching the village, it turns it into a Ransacked Village. Ransacked Villages um, spawn four goals once, four ghouls once per loop, like instantly. So I think I've probably fought eight enemies total so far in this run, and I just spawned eight enemies directly in front of me instantly. And that is kind of strong. I just need to not die. Well, another nice thing about this is um, it's loop one. So, like, they don't deal any damage or whatever. I can also utilize it to spend a very, very long time in the fight. Which gives other enemies time to spawn around the map. This is not a dangerous fight on Loop 1, as you can see. I haven't even had to equip a weapon. And I've spent half a day in it, pretty much. I didn't get the greatest loot, but I did get a bunch of experience. So that's the other thing, is that when I bought the Gymnasium, now I get experience. And there are perks on level up, and some of them are very, very strong. Oh shit, they make bats now. That's pretty, uh, pretty sweet. Used my first potion. is fine, that's what potions are for. Another vampire match on... Uh, there's no reason to place that yet. I think ideally I probably want to place it over here and put two more villages, but I don't have the villages yet, so I'll just hold on to it for now. I <laughs> thought it was a pile of leaves. Vampires are very um, stealthy like that. Sometimes you don't know exactly what's going on, I guess. Vampire villages still healing you is weird. Vampire villages still heal you? Oh. Is it true? Another thing about vampire villages is that um, fights give you... Fights don't linearly give you more experience for having more enemies. So... Having more enemies is actually giving me a lot more experience. Max HP before I walk over the campfire, because campfire heal is a percentage of HP. No skeleton. Kind of sad. Alright. You have to go all the way through loop 2 before I meet with my vampire villages again, unfortunately. Uh, I was lying. It was a lie. they're gonna actually hit me pretty hard. But I got a level 2 shield from the last one. I'll suck up this, actually. Uh, these are pretty bad. Each time the hero passes through a tile, they will heal for 0.5 times loop HP for each non-ride tile around it. That always sounded like it was good to me, but then it turns out it's actually just terrible. We're gonna re-roll these. I think we 
we take Shield Master. 10% chance to keep the card after placing its tile. That'd be kind of interesting for scaling. I have made Buckler work before, but it's hard and kind of bad. I think I just take Shield Master. Shield Master is pretty good. It's only a 10% stun chance. Maybe it isn't good. It doesn't seem that good. Does this game still receive updates? Uh, not money. So I don't have a level 2 weapon. I wouldn't hate a level 2 weapon. Vampire friend? Level 2 weapon, maybe? A meadow. Alright, well, thank you. Not quite what I was thinking. How's it going, Raffle? Sup? That was a lot of stuff. Kind of want to just throw this down immediately, but maybe it's better here. I don't really want that fight to be harder. I'm kind of not very healthy. Uh, Chrono Crystals double the effectiveness of spawners. And also meadows. Put it here, I guess. And then these meadows will all work double. I just need, like, a real item so I don't die. <laughs> uh, but the game has not cooperated. Don't really want to spawn goblins right now. I don't think I can double it twice. Does anybody know, actually? I've never really tried. HP per day plus 30. HP per day plus 30. Okay, so that doesn't work. Well. Rest in peace, one tile of Chrono Crystal. Yeah, I might just be dead in this fight. There isn't like a thing I can equip that makes me stronger. I just never found a level two weapon. That was really weird. <laughs> a very strange way to die. All right, well, GG. I think I might go to bed. It is 1.30 AM. And Naka, thanks for the prime. I appreciate it. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. I have another sponsored thing tomorrow. I have had uh, three days of sponsored stream in a row, and tomorrow I'll have another day of sponsored stream. Looks like it should be sweet. It's just a 20 to 30 minute demo, apparently, though. Anyway, 
I'll see you there.